Howdy, good morning, and welcome to This Week in Texas. I'm your host, Jeremy Kitchen, and our aim this week is to give you an update or a preview on what's ahead in the Texas legislature. The Speaker, Speaker Phelan, announced last week that the House will meet three times this week. They'll start convening today at 4 p.m. and then follow Wednesday and Thursday. There's various bills moving through the committee process week in the, this week in the House. There's various civil asset forfeiture bills being heard in the House Criminal Jurisprudence Committee today at 2 p.m. Representative, Kane, Representative Kane's House Bill 343 is being heard in the House Human Services Committee tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. And this bill prevents the use of Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program, or SNAP, benefits uh, from being used to buy sugary drinks and snacks. It's a refile of a bill that he filed last session as well that didn't get uh, that far in the legislative process. Also, tomorrow morning at 8 a.m., the House State Affairs Committee will be receiving invited testimony only on billing errors related to ERCOT and um, any inaccurate or excessive charges. This is both a Governor Abbott emergency priority and a Speaker Phelan priority. Interestingly, there is this week there's a mix of testimony, if you will. There's public testimony and there's also um, invited testimony. Expect as the legislative session goes on that there will be more hearings where there's specific uh, meetings set for public testo testimony. But uh, for, for this one, for the House State Affairs Committee, it's invited testimony because I believe the intent is to have some of the power generator um, leadership, ERCOT, PUC leadership, and, and what have you to come in and kind of answer questions from legislators. Thursday morning in the House Elections Committee, uh, they'll be hearing a few bills. One of them will be an RPT legislative priority in uh, the House Bill 574 by Greg Bonin. Uh, this bill specifically adds to the definition of fraud and increases penalties uh, to a second degree fel felony from what currently exists, which is a uh, Class A misdemeanor. The House State Affairs Committee will also be meeting again at 8 a.m. on Thursday, um, and they intend to bring up a go uh, governor priority in House Bill 5, which is to increase or um, expand broadband here in Texas, and then various ERCOT and uh, grid or power grid related bills that are both governor and speaker uh, legislative priorities. The House Redistricting Committee will be meet, meeting for the first time this session on Thursday. Um, it's invited testimony only, and they will be discussing redistricting resources that are available to them and some of the demographic trends um, that we see here in Texas, both leading up through uh, what's been the census process and then uh, ultimately whatever comes out of the redistricting process. The Senate, on the other hand, will be meeting, uh, convening for the first time here uh, since last week, tomorrow, March 16th at 3 p.m., They've got, um, they've got committee meetings that are ongoing and set and scheduled throughout the remainder of the week. Ongoing right now, uh, the Senate has the Senate State Affairs Committee uh, meeting on various abortion-related bills. These include the Heartbeat Bill, Senate Bill 8. It includes the Prohibition of Abortion uh, Bill, Senate Bill 9, and uh, Senate Bill 1173, which is the PRINDA, or this, this session's version of the PRINDA Non-Discrimination Act uh, Bill, and others. On Tuesday morning, the Senate Business and uh, Commerce Committee is hearing uh, bills related to both beer to go, which is a kind of, it's not an official governor priority, but it's something Governor Abbott has opined on several times uh, between when the pandemic started and last March to now. And uh, uh, similarly to the House, some ERCOT related power storage regulation bills. The Senate Transportation Committee is also taking up two bills on Wednesday morning uh, related to governor emergency items and um, uh, and similar to that of the House and Senate Bill 5, uh, which is the expansion of broadband services or uh, broadband uh, collectively across Texas, and then Senate Bill 507 by Senator Robert Nichols, uh, which is um, also similar to the expansion of broadband. Right now, the status of legislative priorities just generally. Um, expect this week for priorities to actually start moving. As you can kind of tell from the committee meetings that we just talked about, um, some of the governor and uh, speaker, lieutenant governor priorities will be the ones that are moving first. Those are the things that are getting hearings. Um, as of right now, the only Republican Party of Texas legislative party that is set for a hearing is the election-related bill by Bonin that we talked about earlier. Um, expect that this week will be consumed of a lot of ERCOT-related priorities, um, as well as some of those rural broadband bills. This week marks the pivot point, or really the second uh, chunk, if you will, of session where all the bills can actually start uh, begin to move through the legislative process. We just ended on Friday of last week, the first 60 days, or the, the constitutional provision for the bill filing deadline. So we know our bill 
universe, if you will, of the over 6,000 bills that have been filed. And so you, you can expect this week and really the weeks leading up uh, towards the end of session uh, to see um, some of those priorities um, kind of move through first and then some of the other bills trickle up in those calendars to get longer and longer. Just as a reminder, uh, we are 77 days away as of today, 77 days away from the end of the legislative session. So we'll be doing these updates every week. Make sure to stay up to date uh, with everything that we've got going on at texasscorecard.com. Until then, I'll see you next week. Thanks.